Case leaks show us what to expect with the Galaxy Note 5. We get more details of the iPhone 6s camera design, and if you want a Moto 360, there is simply no better time. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, bear with me as I try to record this video blooper free. Ugh. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with the Moto 360. You have to remember that the watch is close to a refresh. It was announced a full year ago, even though it was launched much later, but uh, Motorola is showing us that it's a little desperate to get rid of existing stock. It's now $150 on the Google Store, on Amazon, and even Motorola's own store. And if you wanna know if I would recommend this watch at $150, I paid $300 for this particular stainless steel model, and I would pay it all over again. I really love this watch. And speaking of smartwatch, Watches, it seems that Apple is already working on making the next generation Apple Watch thinner, lighter, and brighter. And let's hope they don't make it thinner and lighter because I really wish it were actually larger. Uh, but rumors have it that Apple is already considering a brighter OLED display as Sapphire Crystal Apple Watch owners are complaining about the fact that it is not so bright in direct sunlight when you would most likely look at your watch. It just loses its whole purpose. So stay tuned, let's see what Apple brings to this next OLED display. And for those of you that think that HTC is done when it comes to flagships with the 1M9 or the 1M9 Plus, it seems that the company is already working for a product this fall and it's codename Aero and it seems that the major deal about this product is that it will have a substantially better camera. Now we've been hearing this from HTC for years, let's just hope they figure it out. Now, a company that is desperate to bring us a better camera on its next generation iPhone is Apple. We've got some leaks from Foxconn that shows us the blueprint of the next generation iPhone's cameras. We have a 12 megapixel shooter at the back that is apparently capable of not only 4K video, but slow motion video in 4K up to 240 frames per second, which should be really cool. Even more interesting is that apparently we are getting a 5 megapixel shooter for a front facing camera, which is something so important considering the 1.2 megapixel camera we have now. The phone should already be in manufacturing, or at least very close, so let's see if it's true. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, we've got some leaks from case makers that show us of the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and the Galaxy Note 5 in different cases. No, there is no Galaxy Note Edge 5 case, and I'm already getting stuck with these names, but it seems that these are the two products that are coming. And uh, judging by the similarities of the Galaxy Note 5 to the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, sorry about that, it seems that uh, there will be a change in design. It seems that it'll look a lot like the Galaxy S6 in a way, which is interesting, but it does lead me to the question of the day. Would you like a Galaxy Note 5 if it came without expandable storage and a replaceable battery as we see on the leaks as a probability, given the design similarities? Because in my case, it would totally kill the Note lineup for me. I feel that the S6 Edge Plus should be that phone for those people that want that. But leave us a comment down below, what is your case? Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.